Hello, respected people, and welcome back to Respected Minister. Don't forget to subscribe the channel before starting the video. Chris Bowen tweet. Barnaby Joyce tried to push the coalition's debunk scare campaign about new vehicle efficiency standards in question time today. He obviously didn't watch the press conference. Phil Ackland. Hey Dumbo Bowen Chris. I challenge you to debate climate the movie. Mind you, you might have to watch it three or more times with a dictionary, but I'm telling you, you will be liberated to the point of canceling Australia's signing of the net zero construct. Peter. Seeing EV cars built overseas and more countries moving to EV cars, yet the Murdoch and Liberals still against EV cars, also seeing Skills Europe building high-speed rail but Liberals in 1990s still? Hugo Ago Ago. EVs burning coal electricity emit as much as double the CO2 as a full hybrid vehicle. I'm an engineer and did the maths that you and your EV lobby friends owned by EV manufacturers don't understand. I'm completely unbiased on this issue. Hybrids emit far less CO2 in Australia. John George. And for the lower income earners who cannot afford a new or second-hand vehicle and stuck with the old clunker will be struck with an emission tax increase on our Rego. Deger. And you lot caved like the Albanese party always does to their demands. Piss weak mob of cowardly grovelers. Has anyone in the party got a backbone? It's a wonder you lot can stand up. Hashtag dollar one. Helen Ryan. Barnaby Joyce, David Little Proud. Bridget McKenzie don't care about extending the heavy pollution from those big diesel and petrol utes choking people in the cities. Melbourne is just about to go into the fog and inversion zone when those particulates make people so sick. Jimmy the black fella. You have already backtracked because you finally realized that you have stuffed up again. Nice try for trying to twist the narrative. Flower pot. Stop your ridiculousness. You know your climate cult emissions policy was a complete dud and you had to back down. Stop your spin. We aren't buying it. That concludes our analysis of the Twitter exchange. Share your opinions in the comments below. If you found this video insightful, give it a thumbs up, share it with your fellow political enthusiasts, and subscribe for more in-depth discussions on Australians' politics. Thanks for being with us on Respected Minister, and we'll catch you in the next video. Stay engaged and stay informed.